my name is Anne Lullier and I am at uh, Lund University. I am actually both Swedish and French. I am born in Paris and actually the first part of my research career was in France at the uh, Commissariat Energie Atomique. And then I moved to Sweden in 94 and I became professor in 97. My specialty is uh, atomic physics, uh, physics with laser light, so laser and atomic physics. In 1987, I actually contribute to a discovery, which was the discovery of, uh, this is called high order harmonics. We were looking at uh, atoms in strong laser fields. You put atoms and you send the laser and you look at what happens. Here we had this ensemble of atoms exposed to laser light produce a lot of harmonics, but really many, many, several tens or hundreds of, of harmonics. This was fascinating. I remember that very clearly. And I was, uh, oh, I want to study that. I want to understand that. And now 10, 20 years, 30 years afterwards, I want to use them for application in science. <music> I've been uh, funded with uh, two projects. ALMA and Q and PALP. ALMA is at the second control of light of matter. PALP is physics of atoms at the second light pulses. And then now I'm starting this month a new project funded by ERC. And the name is QPAP, which is quantum physics with at the second pulses. The first project was uh, learn how to uh, make these pulses in the laboratory on a routine basis and push their performances, both in strengths and in control, and start to look at applications. And during this ALMA project, we discovered we could measure the time for electrons to be ionized. The second project was really an output of the first project. It was to focus on uh, looking at fast electron motion in atoms. And then the third project, which starts now, is to try to look at quantum physics using this very short light pulse. So maybe the focus is going from the light pulse to the electron pulses, which are produced thanks to this uh, at a second light pulse, and, and really try to look at the quantum mechanical processes using these pulses. So it's almost science fiction now, this new project, because I really don't know where we are going to. <music> During the first project, ALMA, there was um, an invention. It was really an invention by one of my PhD students from Portugal. And he had an idea, a very simple idea, to measure the characteristic of the laser pulses that we use. This student was a student of Lund University, but also Porto University. And together with Porto University, we, we wrote a patent and then we actually applied to a POC project. And at the same time, together with Porto University, we created a small spin-off company called Ultrafast Sphere Photonics. This company is selling an instrument to characterize laser pulses. This company, after seven years, it still exists. I don't want to say it's going very strong, but it's still growing. It's actually very nice to have this kind of... Uh, innovation part of the research that we do. Mm -hmm.